Podio workflows save you time by automating manual tasks and the organization of teamwork. Here's how to create your own today. I'll show you two examples of what you can do with workflows. First, here's a simple but handy workflow for a CRM use case. In this workspace, I've got a companies app that records all the contact details and the status of all the companies that we're selling to and when we've last contacted them. I've also got a deals app that tracks each sale we're making to each company. You can see here that a category field is used to indicate the status of each deal. To create a workflow, I first go to the App Settings menu and then select Manage Workflows. My new workflow will update a record in our Companies app when a deal is closed in the Deals app and schedule the next follow-up. The first trigger of the workflow will be when an item, in this case a deal, is updated. Then, if the future deal stage contains closed. This means that if a sales rep closes a deal and changes the status to closed, then our workflow will start. Now I'll choose the effect, and in this case I want to update an item in a related app. So I drag this down, choose the related app, and then what I want to happen to the related item. I want the status of the company related to the deal to be changed to customer from lead. I want the last contacted field to display today's date and the next follow-up date to be four days from now. I give the workflow a name and save it and now we can see it in action. Here's a deal that my team are working on and it's linked to a company that's a lead. Now I'm going to change this deal from negotiating to closed. Now the workflow starts and you can see the notifications on my screen. When I go to the related company now, I see the status has been changed to customer. The last contacted date has been changed to today and the next follow up is four days from now. These changes are logged in the activity feed here too. We now no longer need to remember to make this update whenever a deal is closed and we're sure we'll follow up with our new customer at the right time. For the second example, I'm going to our client project management workspace and to a projects app that we use to document our briefs and the timescale for a project. After scheduling a project in the projects app, we use the deliverables app to break down the work into assignable pieces with individual owners. I'm going to create a workflow that will set up the deliverables for our projects for us so we don't have to organise this manually at the start of every project. Notice on this project we have two category fields, one for status and one for project type. And that's based on the services we offer our clients. I'm going to use these to trigger my workflow. So I go to the App Settings menu and choose Manage Workflows, followed by Create Workflow. As with the first example, I want the workflow to be triggered by an update, specifically when the project type field is changed and the status field is changed. And this workflow will only be triggered when the project type is changed to content strategy and the status field is changed to in progress. I know that there are always three deliverables we start off with when we do these projects and who on my team will do them. So I can enter them here with deadlines based on the date the workflow is started. Now I've added all the deliverables, I'll give the workflow a name and save it. I'll now go back to a project and show you the workflow in action. I change the state to content strategy and in progress.
Now when I go to the Deliverables app, I've got three deliverables created for me, and they're related to the project that they're for. I can even see how much time a workflow saves my team. When I go back to my Projects app and manage workflows, it's displayed for me here. Try creating your own today. If you need a hand, let us know at help.podio.com, and we'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching.